साउंड 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 प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन आर लाइफ वॉट इज साउंड साउंड इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी हाउ साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड लेट इज परफॉर्म एन एक्टिविटी टेक अ शैलो मेटल प्लेट हैंग इट एट अ कन्वीनियंट प्लेस एंड स्ट्राइक विद अ स्टिक touch the plate gently with your finger what do you feel vibrations again strike it with the stick and hold it tightly with your hand immediately do you still hear the sound no what do you observe when you pluck the tightly stretched rubber band in the middle vibration and listen to the sound when you strike the dish you see vibration in water you listen to the sound of ek tara when its string vibrates so what would you conclude sound is produced by vibrating body when we pluck the string of an instrument like sitar the sound that we hear is not only that of the string the whole instrument is forced to vibrate and it is the sound of the instrument that we hear sound produced by humans speak loudly and put your fingers on your throat what do you feel vibrations in humans the sound is produced by the voice box the larynx located in our throat it is at the upper end of the wind pipe two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for passage of the air when the lungs force air through the slit the vocal cords vibrate producing sound muscles attached to the vocal cords can make the cords tight or loose quality of voice is different in two cases when vocal cords are tight and thin and when they are loose and thick let's understand how the vocal cords produce sound Take two rubber strips of the same size. Place these two rubber strips one above the other and stretch them tight. Blow the air through the gap between them. As the air blows through the stretched rubber strips, a sound is produced. Similarly, take a piece of paper with a narrow slit and hold it between your fingers now blow through the slit and listen to the sound our vocal cords produce sound in a similar manner why the voice of men women and children are different because the length of vocal cords is different in them vocal cords in men are about 20 mm long and women 15 mm long and children have very short vocal cords 
sound needs a medium for propagation. Sound can travel in liquids. Sound can travel through solid. Sound can travel through air. But can sound travel through vacuum? What is vacuum? When air has been removed completely from a vessel, it is said that there is a vacuum in the vessel. This shows that sound needs a medium for propagation, solid, liquid or gas. We hear sound through our ears. We hear sound through our ears. Let us observe the model of the ear. The shape of the outer part of the ear is like a funnel. When sound enters, it travels down a canal at the end of which is a thin membrane and is stretched lightly. It is called the eardrum. The eardrum is like a stretched rubber sheet. Sound vibration make the eardrum vibrate. Eardrum sends vibration to the inner ear. From there, the signal goes to the brain and we can hear the sound. Amplitude Time period and frequency of a vibration Sound is produced by a vibrating body. The to and fro motion of the vibrating body is known as oscillatory motion. The number of oscillations per second is called the frequency of oscillation. It is expressed in hertz and the symbol is HZ. The frequency of 1 hertz is 1 oscillation per second. Amplitude is the maximum distance of the vibrating object from the mean point. Time period is the time taken in one vibration. It is denoted by T and expressed in seconds. The sounds can be differentiated on the basis of their amplitudes and frequencies. If the amplitude increases, the loudness of the sound also increases. In fact, loudness of the sound is proportional to square of the amplitude of the vibration producing the sound. Loudness is expressed in decibel or dB. When the amplitude is small, the sound produced is feeble. The frequency determines the shrillness or pitch of a sound. If the frequency of vibration is higher, the sound is shrill and has higher pitch. If the frequency of vibration is lower, the sound has lower pitch. A drum vibrates with low frequency and produces a low pitched sound. A whistle has a high frequency and produces a sound of high pitched sound. A lion's roar is very loud and low-pitched sound. 
a bird sound is quite feeble and high pitched audible and inaudible sounds sounds which can be detected by human are called audible sounds for human the sounds which cannot be detected by human are called inaudible sounds for human for human ear the range of audible frequencies is roughly 20 to 20000 hertz but for some animals can hear sounds of frequencies higher than 20000 hertz such as dogs ultrasound equipments used for investigations also works at frequencies higher than 20000 hertz noise and music unpleasant sounds are called noise the sounds that are pleasing and we enjoy them are called musical sound examples are the sounds of musical instruments but if a musical sound becomes too loud it becomes noise noise pollution presence of excessive or unwanted sound in the environment is called noise pollution major cause of noise pollution are sounds of vehicles sounds of explosion bursting of crackers sounds of machines sounds of loudspeaker high volumes of television and transistor sound of kitchen appliances and sound of desert coolers harms of noise pollution noise pollution causes many health related problems such as lack of sleep hypertension or high blood pressure anxiety impairment of hearing attempts should be made to minimize noise pollution silencing devices must be installed in aircraft engines transport vehicles industrial machines and home appliances noise producing industries should be set up away from residential area use of automobile horns should be minimized tv and music systems should be run at low volumes Trees must be planted along the roads and around buildings to cut down on the sounds regarding the residents.